Hey Pisces, welcome to September 2019. I hope you guys are doing well and had an amazing summer. So you know me, I read every single symbol, like every single symbol. Um, the card that popped out is the Knight of Swords. And as we know, the Knight of Swords is kind of about that conflict and defeat. Something that happened in the past, whether that be a past life or just a past experience, uh, that you felt like you had to really fight for who you were. You kind of had to really stand up for yourself um, and you were being attacked. Um, this is something that has forced you to kind of dig your heels in when it comes to a lot of situations in your life now, including work. So when I mentioned that I read every single symbol, um, I read body parts, okay? So for instance, when I was shuffling that card, my left thumb, it slid off my left thumb. And the left side is feminine energy and your thumb represents being able to grasp what's going on. So this conflict defeat was something that you weren't able to fully kind of process and it was based on a female energy. So it feels like a mother figure. Obviously, well, I'm what I'm thinking, my intuitive thought is in childhood, a mother figure did not protect you during some sort of attack. There was some sort of attack where a bunch of people were coming at you and although she did her best, she didn't do enough and now it's translating into your work and into your life and you just can't fully grasp what's going on because mommy didn't explain it fully when you were a child. You see what I'm saying? So now a huge shift has taken place and now you're just really judgy when it comes to that parental figure, that female that um, didn't protect you, okay? And you've invested a lot of energy and a lot of power into a young earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, as a way to make up for that loss, a way to make up for that lack of protection in childhood. It's almost like you're kind of taking this young earth sign and applying it to your life and saying, well, you know, maybe I can help this person. And I, I feel like you work with this person. Young earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, they have a lot of strength. And that's what you don't want them to lose, okay? But their foundation is completely crumbling around them and they don't know what's going on. They can't fully grasp what's going on. So it's reminding you of that childhood pain that you've, you've probably repressed. You probably buried down real deep because it was so painful. But it's creating huge shifts in your life right now, which is uh, ultimately causing a lot of judgment of other people, um, including this young earth sign that you kind of... Judgment does not have to be a bad thing, right? You're judging them in a way that you want to help them because you recognize that they're kind of, uh, their foundation is crumbling around them. So Pisces, let's see what's going on. That is what your subconscious wants you to know right off the bat, okay? This is interesting. So your subconscious wants you to recognize that there is a repressed memory or some sort of situation in your childhood, in your past, where a parental mother figure, somebody in authority, female energy, didn't protect you, and now that's translated into a lack of knowledge of what's going on in your life now because you feel that sense of, of unsafety again. You feel like you need that protection. You're being attacked again, whether that's psychically, um, energetically, or Physically, you are being attacked again, maybe even just through judgment. Um, and now you're kind of looking, you're going back into your childhood being like, okay, how do I deal with this? But because that person didn't teach you that in childhood, you don't know what to do. <laughs> so you're investing a lot of energy into this young earth sign as a way to kind of rebuild your foundation back up and be like, this is, this is who I needed when I had this happen to me. And what that's done, Pisces, is brought you an incredible sense of empowerment. It is leveling you up in a way that you didn't even know you could level up. Once you realize that you can reprogram and reteach yourself what your parents didn't teach you and what your um, authority figures didn't teach you in childhood, it's huge power. Because now you're like, wait, you did that wrong. Now I'm going to do it right for me. And it's empowering you. And you're creating huge shifts because of it. This was a revelation, okay? This was like a spiritual download. This revelation came in in an awkward way, like it wasn't very comfortable, um, but it was a transition. And it really 
it's going to open your eyes in a major, major way. It's opening your third eye, essentially. So although this spiritual revelation is empowering you, it's definitely an obstacle and an aid to your empowerment. Because there's going to be a lot of resentment that comes up. You're like, well, yeah, now I know how to do it. Why didn't you just do it like this? Why didn't you just protect me like this or teach me like this? Why was it so hard for you to do that? So a lot of judgment comes up. And that is where your spirituality needs to come more so into place. And I'm not talking about your religion. I'm talking about your spirituality. So what you believe is your authentic truth, not a higher power, but your highest self, right? Subconsciously, you guys are so intuitive. You guys know, you don't need to be taught anything. That's what's so crazy. You didn't have to go to school. You didn't have to learn anything at work. You don't need to be taught anything. You know it. So that's what's kind of where the disconnect is coming in because you felt like as a child, you needed to be taught how to protect yourself by that parental figure, but you already had all the answers as to what you needed to do. And of course that's compassion. Of course you're Pisces. But I think that what the parent figure said was to go at it a different way that wasn't from a source of love. It was from a source of pride saying, nobody's gonna hurt my Pisces like that. You know, instead of saying, how does my Pisces need to grow from this experience? So subconsciously, you always knew the right way to go about it. You always knew that the parental figure was wrong and their way of protecting you. But now you can just use that to your full advantage going forward and drop the resentment, right? You're getting huge downloads this month. A lot of information is coming in. Um, and although you have these downloads, people are still kind of viewing you as very powerless. There's something going on with your relationship as well, where although you have this sense of power um, and empowerment, people still see you as powerless. So it's almost like it's not translating. So maybe at work you're in control, but then at home, not so much or vice versa, right? And that's where people are seeing that power imbalance, that lack of power, because they're like, Pisces is so strong here. And then to see them in that environment, it's like, whoa. And that goes back to that first time with the parental figure where you instinctively knew that you had control and you had power and they said, no, no, do it this way. So you gave your power away. So there is a little bit of something not really lining up right now, Pisces, where when it comes to how powerful you feel um, and your spirituality and your compassion and your unconditional love and acceptance and your ability to use your intuition in positive and empowering ways is exactly what's needed in order to maintain that sense of security, especially within your home and family. Family and friends are going through a lot of changes, a lot of changes. So they're going to need you to put your foot down in certain situations. So like I said, if you're empowered at home, but get no power at work, family and friends might need you to stand up to your boss and say, no, I'm taking this time off because they're going through a lot of changes and they're going to need you. Okay. You know, it reminds me of that. I just posted something on my Instagram stories where it's like, which cousin are you at the family cookout? cookout? And I'm like, I'm the niece that doesn't show up. <laughs> it's like such Pisces energy, right? Like you guys are almost an enigma, like Scorpio energy, where when you do show up, it's awesome, but you only show up to the places where you know that your energy will not be negatively affected if you were to go there because you guys are natural adapters to energy, right? So family and friends going through this massive change, you may want to kind of back off and hermit, but this is one of those situations where you kind of need to just like mold and warp the energy to situate you, to serve you. Like you create the energy instead of just adapting to it. Use crystals. Seriously, like I'm getting a lot of downloads from um, my meditations that are saying that crystals are a serious gift that we don't even realize how incredible they are. So protect yourself with crystals. Um, hope and fear, Pisces, is your marriage, okay? So I'm thinking where the lack of power actually is, is uh, in your marriage situation, common law, um, maybe in your parents' marriage, there seems to be a lack of power there as well that is now being translated into your life um, or even in your grandparents. You know what I mean? Like you can see uh, the quintessential perfect marriage through your grandparents, but then as you get older, you realize, no, like puppy is abusive, <laughs> like, you know, things like that. So there is some hopes and fears when it comes to marriage. And that also is 
losing that that sense of power. You know, it's one of the reasons why I still haven't changed my my last name because I'm like, no, I have my own name. It's it's what empowers me, right? So if you feel like that's a place where you kind of have to give up some of your power, then it could be time to reevaluate your relationship because Pisces, your September 2019, is that a message is coming in, some sort of download. This message is coming from you. That's the thing. A lot of like as you're watching this video, a lot of the times people, especially spiritual people, they go and seek out the message. The message comes to you and it's your message. It'll be like a ding that goes off in your head, right? So maybe it's a song. Maybe it's a smell. Maybe it's just eating a certain food that reminds you of, uh, you know, a memory that was repressed that you need to let go and clear. But a download of a message will come in and all the universe is asking you to do is to believe it. Is to say, that wasn't my ego saying that. That was actually my, my higher self giving me guidance and giving me knowledge and I'm going to use that and apply it to my life. And what that does, Pisces, as soon as you apply it just one time, one time, it completely transforms your whole life, everything. Everything that you thought you knew just changes, right? As soon as you can acknowledge what is an intuitive thought, what is your spirit talking to you and what is your ego talking to you, separating those two and identifying them, it changes everything, right? You know, just, it was on Instagram and someone was saying, why, why does the voice in my head know the words to every song, but as soon as I go to speak it, they're not there. And that just goes to show the awesome power of your intuition, of your spirit. It knows all of the answers. <laughs> it knows all of the answers. Recognizing that, owning that, and using it to your advantage creates huge changes in your life. And that brings in massive and major opportunities, massive and major opportunities. Look, you can't even see them. They're too bright. They're too bright. Anyways, Pisces, as always, love you guys so much. Please um, subscribe and let me know if you want a personalized reading. My details are below. I use astrology and numerology for my readings. Love you guys so much and I will see you next month. Bye, Pisces.